Hey everyone, this is Emily with Snake Discovery, and today I'll be showing you how to sex your snakes. Now with a lot of snakes, you can just look at the uh, shape and the size and length of their tail and get a pretty good idea on whether that snake is a male or a female, but this technique is not 100% accurate. So to know for sure, you can use one of two other techniques, one of which being popping, which I will not cover today because Ed and I haven't quite gotten the uh, hang of popping snakes yet. So what we will be covering is the other technique that people use, which is probing snakes. Hognose snakes are one of the only species of snakes that you can pretty accurately sex them just by looking at the underside of their tail. You can judge their sex based on from their vent to the tip of the tail how long it is and the overall shape. You can also count the scales from the vent to the end of the tail and typically 30 to 35 scales means a female and 40 plus is a male with everything in between. Uh, it's a little bit harder to tell. This one is a female. You can tell she has a tail that tapers off rather quickly and it's also short and stout. And beside her is a male. Here you can see that his tail does not taper out until about right here it finally starts to taper out. And it's extremely long in comparison. And he has over 40 scales on his tail. So this pair is a pretty obvious example and it's a lot easier to tell apart once they become adults. Hatchlings can be a little bit harder because their scales are so tiny and therefore hard to count. And they haven't matured yet so the tail shape can sometimes throw you off. In addition, females are considerably larger on average than males. These are both adults. This is our breeding pair of Condaface hognose snakes. She still has a little bit of growing that she can do, but he is pretty much full grown. To probe a snake, you'll obviously need a probing kit, hand sanitizer or a disinfectant for the probes after you're done using them, and KY jelly. A lot of people will also use uh, petroleum jelly, and this is a lubricant that you'll be putting on the probes themselves. But the petroleum jelly, since it's petroleum based, if it gets lodged inside of the snake, uh, it's not going to be absorbed by the body of the snake and may cause issues, not saying it will, but there's a little bit of a risk involved. Since KY gel is water based, that's why we recommend using this instead. The first snake we'll be probing today will be this uh, rat corn snake hybrid that's het scaleless. So this will be uh, a breeder of ours, but we're not sure if it's male or female. So we're pretty sure this is a male, uh, but based on what we were told, but we want to probe it to be sure. One thing you should know before you probe a snake is the general anatomy of a snake. It'll help you out. And basically snakes or male snakes have two hemipenes, which are their reproductive organ, one along each side. Uh, just below the vent right here. And when they are not breeding, these hemipenes are inverted. So there's basically a pocket from the cloaca going down into the tail area of the snake. And that's what you will be kind of fishing for with the probe. The first thing you'll have to do is choose an appropriate sized probe, of course. Uh, we have small over there to large over here. Uh, you don't want one that's too big because you want it to slide into the pocket of the hemipene. So for the snake, I think we'll use this probe. Um, now, what you want to do is take the lube and dip the probe inside of it. And this will help the probe slide into the vent of the snake. And this is why it's very important to disinfect the probe in between snakes because you'll be dipping it into the lube. Set that aside. Now, this part is a two-person job. One person, thanks to Ed, he'll be uh, holding that end of the snake. And then I'm going to securely hold the tail upside down with my non-dominant hand, take the probe in this hand, and slide it underneath the scale that covers the vent of the snake. And then the tough part is you reach forward, and then you have to slide the probe backwards into the pocket where the hemipene rests, and then very gently slide it into where that hemipene would be. It sometimes takes a couple tries. There we go, we've found it. And now we're going to slide it into the snake. And when you feel resistance, ah, I already know this is a boy. When you feel any resistance at all, put your finger down on where the probe went to, slide it out. Sometimes. Is this a boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's. Oh, those are sperm plugs. Yeah, that's another sign that it's a boy. Oh, extra educational here. That's great. Oh, lovely. Focus. We definitely have a boy, since these were sperm plugs that just came out. Usually that doesn't happen. Um, but the probe went down, shoot, 
how far did it go? Since I lost where I was holding the probe because I saw those sperm plugs come out, uh, and just because it's good to do this anyway, you'll want to um, test the other side where the other hemipene lies too. And so we're going to do this side as well, which can be kind of difficult because you're usually using your non-dominant hand like I am for this side. I'm gonna find the pocket, there we go. Slide it in, and when I feel any resistance at all, which is right, wow, right there. I'm going to put my finger down onto the probe and pull it out just to mark how far down it went. And now I'm going to line up the probe against the tail and you count how many, ta or how many scales down the probe went. And this one is definitely a boy. It looks like it went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, over 10 scales down, so he is definitely a boy. To sanitize the probe, we're going to use some, just hand sanitizer will work. You can also use like chlorhexidine where I think I'm gonna do a video on the best disinfectants for snake supplies, but hand sanitizer will work just fine for probes. Now this next snake we're going to probe is a newer snake of ours. See if you can guess what it is. Ta-da, it is a false water cobra. We found him uh, locally for sale around us. And we've been looking for a second female because I think our female is just too big for our male to handle. And we're gonna probe this one and have our fingers crossed that it's a female. I think we're gonna use red, right? Yep. We'll use red for this one. We will lube it up. Okay. And come on, girl. It would also be a good example. Come here. Yeah, this one kind of has an attitude. To me, anyway, it seems to like Ed. All right. See what we've got going on here. Again, we're gonna slide it in, curve it back. Sometimes you, oh, I did get it right away, nice. Oh, look at that. Man, okay, we're gonna pull it out. That's how far it went. Again, you don't wanna push any pressure at all onto the probe. That is definitely another boy. Well, that's side. okay, we can do the other side. Just to show you one more time how to probe. If you probe a snake and it only goes down a couple scales, it could either be a female or you may just not have found the pocket of the hemipene. So that's definitely when you want to do the other side. If you do your first side and it goes down as far as this one did, then it's optional to, the, to do the other side. But typically, I mean, it's not gonna go down that far for a female. But if you do apply too much pressure, you can possibly puncture the hemipene pocket, which is why make sure you wait. If there's any resistance at all, just stop inserting it and pull it out. But we're gonna do this other side just for you guys to see. There we go, and it has stopped. We're gonna pull it out. Oh, lovely. And another st sperm plug. We're gonna measure it up, and it has gone down probably around eight scales there. So another boy, that's okay. He's still a cutie. The last snake we're going to probe today is another new one, but she's the smallest one we'll be probing, and I think all of these are too big. So we're taking out our first probing set we got, which isn't as fancy, but I think we'll have to use this one on her just because it's small enough for her. But here is our newest, one of our newest snakes. This is a scaleless, an actual scaleless, not just het uh, rat snake, and we were told it was a female. So knowing that the one that we just probed that Rat snake that was het scaleless is a male. We are really hoping that it is in fact a female and just a really cool looking snake. I mean, look at the head. There's like no scales at all on the head of the snake. Really, really neat. I can't wait to see when she sheds for the first time. So we're gonna probe her too to figure out once and for all if she is a female. Okay, we'll try this little probe. Oh man, I'm not used to probing such tiny little snakes. I don't know, is that gonna be small enough? I think it will be. And there we go. Push it down. Stopping yeah. there. Put my finger down, pull it out. Oh, this is a tough one. This one went down one, two, three, four, five, six scales, it looks like. Hmm. I would say that's a female. Yeah, I mean, when they go down only six scales, then it's kind of in between the male or female. Okay, we, we could but, probably do the other side. Yeah, we're going to do the other side. Oh, man, left hand. There we go. Pushing it down. Oh no. Oh no. Finger down. Oh, that one went down. Oh, wow. Well, I think we have a boy. Yep, that one went down at about eight to 10 scales. Shoot, so this one is a boy as well. That means we still need a het scaleless or a scaleless corn snake. But that's okay. He is still really pretty, really cool snake. We'll be hanging on to him. And I guess we will just continue our search. 
for a female that would be compatible with him. Okay, so we want to show you what it looks like to probe a snake that is a female, so you know how far to expect the probe to go down. So here is our last snake. This is our Woma python, or one of them, and we know for sure that this snake is a female. So uh, theoretically, the probe should only go down about two to three scales past the vent. So again, we're going to hold the snake securely, slide the probe underneath that subcaudal scale, and down into the pocket, and it has gone down and stopped right there. So I'm going to pull it out and it has gone down three scales. So that is our female. Obviously you don't want to try probing a snake on your own without having been trained in person by a professional, but hopefully this still makes a nice visual aid for you to help guide you when you do probe your own snakes and what to look for exactly and what sizes of probes to use and all the equipment that you need. If we do end up getting the hang of popping snakes and sexing them that way, we'll make a separate video to show you how that is done, but so far we haven't figured that out and we just rely on probing snakes to sex them. But thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you next time.